Roll camera. Hey. Yeah, everybody. Take one, take one. Uh, action. Enough! Who's there? The only way that scares actually count when they come in a film like this is if you care about the character, you will be much more scared. I don't want the cast to be just fodder, to be slaughtered in the way of a slasher movie. I think it's important that every character, that you see them from the inside out, and you know who they are and what they feel. Here's the protagonist of the story, Arthur Ketz, that Daniel is playing, and it's his journey. And it's through him the whole story is told. There's not a scene that goes by that he's not in. For young Arthur Kipps, the only really significant events that have occurred in his life are the fact that his wife passed away in childbirth and he has a young son to bring up. And Daniel has handled this side of the story wonderfully well. He's a very emotional performer, and I think that that is also important in this material because you've got to believe in Arthur. Daniel, um, this is his first adult role since Harry Potter. My character, Arthur, who is a young man and a single father, which is something I've never done before. But I sort of have cheated slightly on that score because I got my godson, Misha, to play Joseph, my son. And it's great because you just can't fake that relationship and that chemistry. You look just like your mother. Dan is an absolute delight to work with. He deals with the world in which he lives incredibly well. He is so focused. It's just an absolute joy doing a slow push in on Dan and just reading his thoughts and letting the camera drift closer and closer into his eyes and camera reading absolutely everything that he's feeling. I was asked to do a small role in Harry Potter. It was a lovely experience and uh, Daniel's such a, an open hearted person by nature and very committed. I could tell by then he's very committed to what he does. It was beautifully written and it's a fantastic character that people will want to watch.